I would just remove the word Rev and then we're left with Ops. There are three different types of RevOps leader. There is the doer who is in the software, especially find this in an early stage startup. They are making reports and delivering reports and extremely important, but probably they're the lowest skilled of the, of the three. Then you've got this second level, which is a systems thinker. And the, the systems thinker, of course, in my view, should be in the operations team because they are that individual that can think about the interlocking systems that we are acquiring and has a bigger sense of objective than just someone who works for the revenue leader. After all, they will have a very specific focus they should do. But then there's this third level, which is a strategic thinker. And that is the person that before I go as a CRO to my board meeting, that strategic thinker should be like six weeks before I've done the board report. It's ready to go six weeks early. We've just got a few figures to fill in. Can you just check so you're happy with it? It's that kind of forward thinking that you want by your side and does need to be in your department because they're often your strategic sparring partner. But with that exception, as an organization grows, I would be personally moving as much operations into the operations department as I possibly can.